Ladies and gentlemen, for the 729th time, it is the Mason and Friends show featuring his Junus, a.k.a. L. Juperino. Hey, girls. As well as that dude called Mike, a.k.a. his Black Handness. Yeah. Me, I am Mason, a.k.a. Mahoney. Welcome to the Mason and Friends Show. What's happening, y'all? What's good out there today? What was we just talking about? Uh, uh, the homie that sh- the the girl he works with dating some brother at church. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but it was you passed that. It was passed. Yeah, that. I know. But you you saw something on your phone and then you started <laughs> huffing and puffing real hard. Cause, cause, it, cause I pulled up. All right, I pulled up. I tried to pull up the internet to try to Google whatever we were just talking about. But when I seen the African dick rock, what? In my, in Hold my, on, <laughs> say what? You found an African dick rock? When I seen the African dick rock, the shit that I that I uh, googled, Google it, bro. Uh, you googled Google African it. dick Google rock. It. Was my, I got this. I got this Trinidad dude at work. <laughs> And he said, this, You always this, got something, you know. He what? said, This African you gotta, dude. You gotta play the Weather Girls. So this this, this African dude shit. came up to him and said something about some rock that he, he rub on his dick and it make a dick hard immediately and shit. African dick and rock. And I was like, Oh, that's just African dick rock. Just, you know, fuck it off. And then I Googled it and, and it's damn near a real thing, bro. Damn near. There's, Except it doesn't actually make your dick hard. He, what he had is one of these almost. It almost seems like like a voodoo rock. You know, what I mean, not just a straight, not just a regular rock. He got voodoo dick. Was like, the little, like the little voodoo doll. He giving bitches voodoo dick. Cock corn rock, also cock corn rock or phallus rock, is a large statue of a penis raised on a platform on the steep located near. That's what. But that's not. This dude said it's just a right, like it's a regular rock, and you rub it on your dick. And it does amazing things to your fucking penis. Makes okay, it makes it see. rock hard. But I, I could have never figured out what. But it All seems right, like see. he's I'll, talking to like a real. All right, I'm, I'm gonna look it up a different way. And if it pulls up, I'll tell you how I looked it up to see. Because uh, uh, you didn't, you didn't, you just started off the show with this bullshit. But everything guy. I see is just that penis rock statue thing or whatever the fuck. Everything you see is this penis rock. It's a penis rock. It's not an actual little rock that you rub. Like we, like white people got rocks from like, like like Jesus, like a Jesus rock. You know what I mean? Maybe with like a quote on it or some shit, like like a Bible verse or something like that, right? And it's supposed to bring uh-huh. luck or some oh, shit. What's like, the, uh, it's like a rabbit kind foot. of stone. I forgot what kind of stone they call it. It's a certain stone. That's what the they call it. stone. Yeah, it's got it's a, a blarmy stone. All right, well, the Africans got that same kind of stone, but it works for but the Africans. So, but you gotta find it. I guess you gotta find the right fucking. What kind of African? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You gotta find a region. Africa's where it's at. such like a large place. Like, can you narrow it down for me? Is this Congolese? Is this like Egyptian? Are we South African? Are we like coming from Niger? Or but we yeah. were just we were just talking about. But that's not. But like I said, I don't know what we were talking about after. Uh, the church. The the. Uh, <laughs> the brother going to the white church. You were talking about how he yeah. deserves some pussy if he goes to white but church. It wasn't that because that's not Googleable. Uh-huh. Now, it was something that I needed to Google that we were speaking about. Well, Jew, I'm afraid you're. Oh, here's just, one. It, all right, so have we talked about Caitlyn Jenner? That's the dude chick, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, no. What happened with him or her? Her, right? If her. You, She's a her now. But what did she? Is the penis tucked? Is the penis gone? Is the penis a vagina? I'm not sure. Apparently, you're not allowed to it. ask these kind of questions. All right, so let's. All right, that's what right. the wokeism says. Okay, you're, you're not Couple allowed questions. to ask that. Couple questions. Fair mm-hmm. enough. First question: If you have sex with her and she still got a dick, are you gay? Second if she question, identifies as a woman, I believe the technical response is supposed to be no. You're supposedly having but heterosex. But she got a penis. You see the penis. It's clear. Oh, right? right, 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 right. Like, because trans the women right are there, apparently... The penis is but I'm saying you. trans women are apparently offended that the hetero guys don't want to date them. And I'm, I'm like, hey, what look, the fuck look, is wrong look, with look, you? Gay people are mad when they get called gay. Straight people are mad when they get called straight. Retards are mad when they get called, called retarded. You know, the only people that ain't mad at dumb people when you call them dumb. So we, we passed that. You know what I mean? got a point. We passed all that shit. I know. We've called him dumb before and he's gotten mad about it. Everybody in their words, you know what I mean? Take it or leave it. I, I just want to know 
population. What if, like I said, I don't, I don't really care. You know what I mean? It was just that's just another thought that came across my mind. Like, I would assume, yeah, because you're fucking. All right, so but biologically, what if, it's a man, even though that person identifies as a woman. All right, but, if, but, all right, what, but if, what if the what if gone? she's got a fake pussy? What well, she's got a real pussy? No more dick, and the pussy good pussy. That's but that's what I'm saying. Now are you st- are you still gay? Because that was a dude. Now I mean, it's, it's still a dude, but it's not it entered, a dude. Has it entered chick, in the head? Dude, it came out the box as a dude, right? So it, 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 it it's is still a dude. Fucking you can, biologically, you can, yeah. Yeah, you can cut anything off. Yeah, you can't you change girl, chromosome. Yeah. When you come out the box, you come out the box. But if you're having sex with a vagina, isn't that Hetero, in a sense, but it's really a dude. It's really a it's dick. Back it's on the tuck tuck it's not you know a fucking I mean? dick it's a, it's, anymore. Yeah, it's a tuck penis. That's what I'm yeah. saying. They just cut the tip and tuck it in. I believe so. I know. I think they leave the tip. There, yeah, Is it tied uh, to your ass I believe, crack or something I believe like that? they make your vaginal canal with your dick shaft and your clitoris with your penis head. Mm-hmm. I believe. Oh wow! Is how the vagioplasty goes. That's but a little I, pop in and pop out action or something. I mean, like that. That they ain't say big enough to make a vagina out of it. I don't think, man. They I mean, say it's, like, that, that seems like everybody's gonna bottom out in the Jew in Jew. What was it? <laughs> Juella, Jew, Jew, oh, Juella Bell. Even the Jew Bell. You, you were just blowing on that thing in the basement. <laughs> 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 I'd have to see how that even works. Right? There ain't uh, no way you can tuck it all the way down and pop the tip back out. Let's cut the tip off. I mean, or you it, cut the tip off, pop it back in. No, no, no. Sew no. it up top. I believe it it's. Work. I believe the tip remains, and that the urinary tract is turned into a clitoris, with the shaft going into like the tubular portion of the vagina. I'm not it's too an much expert, work, it's too much work. But these are things that I've heard about here See, and there. I, think, I would think Mary you just cut the tip off, tuck it in, get like a clothes but hanger, you, like a like you, clothes clothes hanger, hanger, and, 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 and then clip it to your taint, you know what I mean, to keep it back in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> that maybe draw a little clip or we something. Like this, it, right? yeah, like we it. don't base this with JJ <laughs> with a paper clip inside yeah. your taint. That's what's going to hold everything We're together. Gonna pit it back. Now, six months, honey, I'm going to have you come back here and pull that paper clip out of it. Yeah, we got to tighten it up. Everything's going to be where it needs to be yeah, by then. It's a dissolving clip, though, kind of like stitches. It's you know two, what units, <laughs> two units vagioplasty. You got to do everything lightly, girl. You got to eat lightly because you got to shit lightly, too, all right? For the next six fucking weeks. This shit is serious, all right? You're like a guy that failed a correspondence course doing a fucking job. Like, <laughs> oh, Lord. This That's amazing. Cool. African rock penises and fucking Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> That's how we started the shit off today. That's just sort of it. Well, we was gonna start off with whatever I was trying to do. Goddamn it, if I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck we was talking about, damn it! There was a because no, was, basically that brought up something that we had to talk about something, but I don't remember what that was. I, I know was, what it is. I've been waiting to get to this. Okay, what we got? Because we ended the show last week, and the Jew goes, "Man, I'm thinking about going down Florida." Hunting some of them snakes. Yeah, the pipe. Yeah. And I was oh, like, yeah. I, forgot about I said, that. I, said yeah, I, I said, forgot you about can't that. bring this up on the show, you motherfucker. So today, yeah. as we pull off in our rickety ship towards the Juapanese Triangle. Yeah, because he's getting ready to go to Florida. Uh-huh. He said he's going to go to Florida and start hunting snakes. But you're not going to be, look. The question is, you're going after clearly big game. This ain't no little snake. ain't no little snakes, now. Nah. This is anaconda yeah. like the movie Anaconda. First and of all, do you know how to handle a snake? Yeah, you grab by the head. Right behind no, the head. No, fucker. God damn it. Well, okay. see, when you grab a 13 or 17 foot anaconda by the back of the head, the his head tendency is, this is big. probably going to... It's bigger than that. Yeah. The head's going to be bigger than that, and his inclination is going to be to wrap himself around you and yeah. strangle you. That's so, automatic when you grab a snake by the back of the head. It automa- I felt that before. I did it to my snake that I had just to see what it would be see, like. what you need to do you have to is snatch chop from the, the tail. head off. If I was going to be out there hunting anaconda, all, all I know is I'm taking probably multiple guns and I might even have a samurai sword up in that bitch because you gonna try and grab him by the back of the head I'm gonna lop that head right the fuck off you ain't, okay, look, you ain't throw it look what kind of bullshit is that I you, think they want I don't think it's dead or alive it's gotta be dead dude they you don't want him alive look, they not, want him dead that's the whole reason to hunt them you're not throwing no rag or, or coat over top of the head I'd be leaving bodies bringing heads on spikes here you go now, evidence of a big ass snake. You can give me my money. 
for a big snake you're gonna have to try to get to the head eventually but the tail is where you grab it from and you slowly pull well, it out if you want to pull, pull them out yeah you get to yeah. pull them out so you get but like you a lot of them also have to think that a snake can strike half its body distance at least and, and he's that, a real that, strong motherfucker that, that ain't nothing but muscle I know this because I've dealt with it I've had one yeah, I here's, know here's the thing though Mike we know you and I both know and yeah. the vast majority of the listenership and viewers that are watching them listening to the Mason and Friends show around the world shout out yeah um, the vast majority of people know that a snake is technically just a big giant muscle that's it and uh, his with goal teeth. is to eat and not die that's it and your goal in going down and catching a snake is to kill this snake no so, I'm catching your on. pain I ain't gonna kill wait it wait a minute wait a minute hold on we're going for Ooh. catching a snake Catching a shark and possibly one day jump on top of a gator. Man, you can do all three of those in Florida. You can do all three of them damn things in Florida. I got to drive far for that fucker though, man. From what, where, for where, where I'm going. <sighs> what, so so, so you now, get money for the snake? Geographically, or? No, to where they are technically managed lands for hunting pythons. So what do you know about this technically? You know you can get paid, and you think you have to bring a living python. Yeah. What about that makes sense? You have to bring a living python when they're trying to eradicate the pythons? Because you can't kill them because that's inhumane or something. Inhumane, they got to fucking put it down their own way. They got to put it down themselves. Either fucking take it to a sanctuary. Oh, so they're just going to ether it to death? What kind of bullshit is that? Taxpayer money. Instead of me just capping it and bringing it in with a with a with a what a twenty seven cent bullet from using you know what I mean? Well, I'm saying, could you hit him in the head with a pike and like like bring him in while he's half retarded but still alive? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll beat up probably. Yeah, you you can if you hit him hard enough in the head with a shovel or, yeah. or a sledgehammer, you gotta like sledgehammer's brain him. gonna fucking destroy you gotta it. Brain him. Him, yeah. You take a, a fucking spade, pow, hit him on top of the head with a shovel. <laughs> Yeah, it's, good. it's spread out enough. You ain't gonna really crush it. Well, that's inhumane too. But if you if you have him half dead when he gets there and they don't know, he's still alive. You gotta turn it in, man. It's like them gators. They catch, you know they catch them gators and they take them to wherever, <clears> see, like the taxidermy or whatever the fuck. Not you know in the what gator man? show. I've been watching when they got the fucking bullets hanging out over yeah, the side of the fucking yeah. joint. They be yeah, well, now they shoot holes. them, but when they they turn them in, they got always gotta take them to the wholesale or whatever the fuck. You know, I mean, this has gotta be the same fucking thing. Right, but why can't you bring a dead one in? Like, it seems awfully dangerous to me yeah, I don't to be know, bringing I don't. in live 20 and 30 yeah. foot fucking pythons. Go, you just kill yeah, them. because you can't, you, where are you going to house it at? Because in order to take it, you need to have it in something to transport. You need something major. And when you pull the top off or whatever that is, he's coming out and he's mad. Pythons have an aggression with them, but these pythons that have been released, they're, they're not as wild as their cousins. You know, let's put it that way. They're not. They're, they've been domesticated a little bit. Yeah, but they'll still kill the fuck out of you. You still be dead oh, yeah, if they yeah, get the fucking yeah. gumption to kill you. But for it to kill you, it's got to wrap around you, you know, but, right. But none of that's the point. This guy thinks he can go down there and catch him. Like, the I, I think you'd have a hard time. Shark I think mouth. you'd have a hard time, like, <laughs> killing one, let alone catching one alive and getting it back. Who are you, Jake the fucking snake? Ooh, Look, no, because he didn't. Well, he he was afraid of snakes, too. I'm saying, but I you're going to put it in a bag. On WWE. What, are you going to put know, it in wait. a bag and bring it home? Yeah, well, see, it, it was the same thing. Like, he, he thought he could fist the fucking shark in the mouth. Like he, he thought he could grab him through the kill. Why did I say that? <laughs> fucking episodes ago. S- specifics, Many man. episodes ago. You and your fucking specifics needed. You, you said, said you it. You could reach in, grab by the gills, you got that motherfucker. You said it. And I'm sure that more than just Mike and I would vouch for that. If you know anybody that listens to the yeah. show, so many would vouch for that. Yeah. I don't know if I say reach in his mouth to grab his gills. I'm going to grab his gills on the outside. You said you was going to grab him by the mouth. And fist it. You go catch him into the shallows <laughs> and pull him out the water by his fucking mouth. I meant to send you that one video of this dude jumping off a boat and really he <laughs> jumps off a boat, gets like a fucking uh, black fin, maybe about six feet long, and picks it up out the water and is just straight punching this bitch dead in the bottom of this motherfucker. So, I mean, he's tearing this shit up in the ocean. I'm like, this motherfucker <laughs> literally jumped on a shark, pulled this bitch out the fucking water, and is just straight punching this two pieces of this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, is wrong? what is wrong with people? White people. Yep. Yeah. Lord, it was Thursday. <laughs> they all like, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Here it comes. Here it comes. He jumps in, psh, gets on this motherfucker. I think I might have saved it to send to y'all motherfuckers. If I got this bitch, I'm sending it. That's straight bananas. 
But I'm like, yo. That is ridiculous. Oh, right no, I mean, motherfucker, ridiculous. you said you gonna jump on top of a gator. Uh-huh. You said you ready to do that. You seen enough videos. And then you, that you seen can the video that. that I sent you to guy in the fucking golf. And getting set. his ass handed to him because he thought he could do the same he shit. He tossed his t shirt. He tossed his shirt over top of his And then jumped on that gator and got and lit got up. got his ass handed Lucky to him. Lucky he didn't lose a damn arm or something. End up like Chubbs, one handed. Was this on the on the gram? Yeah. This is wild. This is a while ago wow. he said that joint, man. Yeah. That was right after you said that on the show. Yep. You always say things on the show. So when you and said you was going it? snake hunting and we weren't on the show, I was like, you motherfucker. This is show topic, man. You can't just bring that up off off air. Well, I'm, I'll take, you, I take that back. I'm not going snake hunt down there. Okay. Because it's too far to drive, for one. And for two, uh, definitely not this time. Because it's, it's got to be too cold for them motherfuckers right now. Fuck no. Nah, not because it's going to be like 80s or 70s. Yeah. So never mind. Not in Florida. They ain't moving down there. You rustle them fuckers up. They ain't staying still for too long. They ain't long. moving down there. Nah. And they ain't burrowing hell. They got a, yeah, a competition with the gators out there, motherfucker, man. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. It's bad enough to have the fucking gators getting eaten by these bitches. Neighbor you try to catch a, a motherfucker. The neighbor shot a bear? Shot the bear. And the one in the neighborhood? Oh, the one that was out here? Damn. Damn. Hey, he shot a bear. I don't know if it was the one. Why'd he do that? What was the bear doing? It's just tearing, in his... tearing up people's shit. Huh. He, and like hanging out in his yard. Yeah, that's a little much. Like hanging out in his yard. Like he said he walked out the front door and the motherfucker was coming up out the trash. Stood up on him. Yeah. And he said he just pulled out, bust off a couple rounds of his ass. <laughs> bear gone. He's mangy, scraggly looking. So he buddy. shot the bear and the bear ran off. About 30 feet to the neighbor's yard. And then dropped? Mm hmm. Yep. Huh. Well, at least he killed it. The other day, that motherfucker went, that motherfucker's trash, the other neighbor's trash, the other neighbor's trash. It was shit all over the fucking yards out this bitch. They must have been having feasts and shit. Either that or not, because it's warm now. He's coming back out of sleeping to eat. You know what I mean? Dude, and they never really got cold. They it never did, really got yeah. cold, yeah. It's crazy, man. That's why he's looking like he's looking like, fuck, wait a minute. He woke up rough like, man, fuck, it's time to get up now? <laughs> Shit, already? Yeah. Oh, I got one for you. What you got? What you got? Got the car inspected. Uh-huh. All right. Failed. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. What for? The easy pass sticker on my windshield. What did he? I, I stopped listening after he said that because I really wanted to reach the couch counter and slap the fucking white off his ass. He said something about it was located in the wrong spot, or huh? It's it, it's uh, it's not it's not on the windshield in the right spot. It needs to be uh, improperly affixed to the windshield. It, it needs to be somewhere in a corner or some somewhere. And then my battery didn't have the the clip thing that bolted down. Oh, it didn't have a tie down. Yeah, don't have, down. yeah, don't have the tie down. And my headlight bracket is broke. Okay. From where you hit the, the wall. When I hit the thing. Yeah, yeah so you need dirty. a new headlight. No, he said I need a new fender. The fuck, you don't need it. Well, because <laughs> that's what that's the head. That's the what the headlight is broken. Is holding it in. But I don't need a fender. I need the fucking. I need the goddamn quarter panel. No. The quarter panel is the back of the car. All right, well then I need the front. I need the whatever. That's the going, fender. I need that's the fender. Oh, yeah, because the bumper's in front. Quarter panel's in the back? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah quarter panel's behind the, uh, it's above the rear wheel. Yeah, but I don't need that. I need, all right, I also need, I know, you need right, a so front fender. I need you, a whole fucking, you need well, a I'm also going to need a sledgehammer because I'm going to tell you goddamn what, that when you hit a guardrail or a fucking jersey wall at 80, it does more than bend a little bit of plastic. <laughs> It does more than a little bit of plastic. Well, yeah, to get yourself shit. to pass yeah, inspection, yeah, yeah. It I'm going somewhere like, else. It sounds no, I'm just like going to go somewhere else. It sounds like what you need is a headlight and a fender to pass inspection, and just take your fucking Deep easy pass, pass out shit the out for the time being. But yeah. you need a headlight and a fender and a battery clip thing and a battery tie down, which I've never heard anything about that in my life. He said, "Yeah, we, well, that doesn't mean that you know everything." I said, can tell you that. He much. said, "We can do the. Uh, we can just take the stick. We can just take the easy pass down, and." uh you know, put the put the clip on the battery. I'm like, okay, do you got a goddamn fucking 2003 fucking silver goddamn fucking fender laying around on the side of the goddamn bill now? Do you know you don't? To so put the rejection on the motherfucker's like, go to fuck home, bro. <laughs> fuck you and your fucking ten dollar fix, bro. Then I went to the other place and you do inspection. She said, Nah, I said, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not supposed to go to the one boy in the morning, but I really didn't feel like it. Saturday, I just felt like just laying there. Well, I might know somebody that can fix your shit, but you'd have to buy the parts if you don't want to fix it. No, we'll take it to that 
one boy right here in Warrington that looks a happy Shh, bill, Don't say job. who. Don't say yeah. where. You're going to take it somewhere, pay somebody off? I'm just going to... Because, I mean, I've never heard nothing about that fucking battery clip. What the fuck the battery clip got? Anything to do with me safely driving it in holds the, it holds battery the battery secure in place. <laughs> that's what it's designed is. The hood is the hood of the fucking... Uh, the hood that no, that Where's does it really not. Go? Where's no, it, it does it really go go? And when it, do when it flies battery. forward five inches and rips the fucking cord, the cable out, and starts a fire or stops working, yeah. then that's why that's the battery tie down is there. Right here. We're no, it's not. Final destination, bro. Damn, that was so, the whole engine that came out. You're so simple. You upset about the he third. Said, you upset yeah. about the cheapest part. The hood got to come off. It's a $14 part. You can buy at fucking AutoZone. Yeah, put right and on. fix your shit and put it on there. The expensive part's going to be your headlights. It's going to cost you at least a buck or two. Oh, it's going to cost you. Yeah. If not yeah. four or five hundred yeah. goddamn dollars. Yeah. You don't even know. So, like, you know, quit sweating that. Find a used fender on eBay or a fucking LKQ fender on eBay or some bullshit. Order that. Rock the black fender like you know you gonna. Oh, yeah. And fucking get busy. Shit, pick apart. Go right there, pick apart. You might be able to go to pick apart, yeah, buy, buy one with a fucking good headlight yeah, and fender in it yep. and get that shit. But you might be able to just buy that shit on eBay for a couple hundred bucks and have it sent right to your door. Yep. You got options, but you got to bite the bullet. You might be able to go to Rock Auto, buy a headlight and a fucking fender from them. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get the door handle for the truck. Again. Rock Auto should have that. Yeah, that's they what They got, got a lot of stuff, man. That's the last time from. Them fuckers are on the ball. Ah. They cheat, too, man. You just need to know what fucking part number you're actually looking for. Nah, you can find stuff if you know how to look. Mm-hmm. But part numbers help. Yo, so we went and took the kids to go see the uh, Ant-Man joint, right? Decent movie. Good enough movie. That's but then we walk out this bitch. A little bitch. bit long. A yeah. little bit long for me, man. Not enough action. But then we go out this bitch. There's a motherfucker walking around in a goddamn bear suit. Like, for cocaine bear suit, I'll be goddamn. Oh, the cocaine bear, dude. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. This motherfucker. He, he wore a bear suit to the yeah. theater? Yeah. No, it was, it was bear suit. It was a guy for the movie that like, promoting the oh, movie. Oh, he was promoting the movie. Yeah. Well, like, maybe he could have been. I don't know. I I we didn't stay around listening. Oh, no, because the lady asked if we wanted to take a picture with cocaine oh, bear. Right, right. She going to ask <laughs> us, hey, y'all want to hey, take a picture with cocaine bear? Y'all want to take a picture with cocaine bear? Y'all want to take a picture with cocaine bear? Society is fucked, my friend. Yo, Society is that fucked. That shit had me rolling. That's why I looked at Joyce and said, yo, this bitch just asked us and the kids, oh, y'all want to take a picture with Cocaine Bear? Come on, bring your ass. We got Cocaine Bear. <laughs> yeah. Cocaine Bear in the house, y'all. <laughs> that motherfucker. Thank you so much. <laughs> I say, yo, I ain't never seen this shit before, yo. They really promote the fuck out of this goddamn movie about this goddamn bear that did cocaine. Well, they think they've got a hit on their hands. Well, they're, well, they're hoping they they're do. They're hoping they do, but it's got to be better than most of the shark movies. The Sharknados. Yeah, any but of, what any kind of, of but what kind of bar of quality is that? That's not like, at all. Oh, it's better saying, than Sharknado as Four. As far as animal, gotta, but yeah, is it better than gotta, Two and One? I mean, the anim- best animal movie is, was was Flipper ever in a movie, or he's just a TV no, show? Flipper was I think a TV they made show. a Flipper you're movie. About Free Willy, ain't but, you? Well, Free, no, Free Willy was the whale. Free Willy was the whale. Yeah. <laughs> Flipper is the dolphin. Yep. Hey, other than that, they just show. had you know dog fucking. Yeah, they got horses, like they got a whole bunch of horses, stuff like that. Yeah, but but there's never like what is it really just a red straight horse movie? <laughs> yeah, like Sea Biscuit yeah, and shit like that. Biscuit, Black Beauty, <laughs> oh. fucking all that shit. But no, oh, yeah, but those stripes was about a zebra. But what kind of like movie that's about an animal does anybody that's grown like at all? Hey, like, got a point there. Is there a good animal movie that's that's like I'll, a grown I'll ass sit animal there and movie? Watch, um, I watched Secret Life of Pets. Secret Life of Pets. That yeah, that was a good one. I, I did like right. that That's because y'all are corny kids. ass parents with kids, man. That was a good one, though. It was a good That's one. That's a good one. Uh huh. Try to think. Uh, as far as like, nah, I don't like, think I got nobody one. likes anything. It's not like Canine or whatever. There's no like good movie. Like, like Cujo, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like these are all garbage like movies. Cujo, I gotta watch Cujo. God I guarantee it. it's garbage. I ain't watching. It. It's garbage. You ain't seen Cujo? Nah, I'm judging a book by the cover. I'm doing like Judas with the women. I'm looking at that joint and going. I mean, I've seen the other one. Man's I ain't best friend. That. Man's best friend. Yeah, that's the yeah, shit. Yeah. But none of these are good movies. Cujo. Cujo's just a, maybe a, a Stephen King classic. That's all. That right. Is. It's, it's nothing special. That's I'm saying though. Like nobody. Like I'm really trying to think. Like you kids like that damn DMX movie, man. I'm like, God damn, man. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, with the two. <laughs> 
But as you know, it's not good. Ooh, the Gator Snake. They're like all worse than Dolomite. Like, yeah. it's just terrible movies. Oh, man. Dolomite's a classic. Dolomite's, Dolomite's a classic and it's wonderful yeah. in its own way. But, like, you know, nobody makes, like, a movie about an animal that somebody, like, is, nah, is like really even, good. Even Arach- Arachnophobia. That was Operation Elephant Club. Drop. Like, what oh, are we I talking about? about that one. Damn. At least Bill Murray's in that, right? That's Babe, the Bill Murray movie, yeah, right? Babe, yeah. What, what was that? Babe's about to pig. Babe's about to pig. Babe's about pig. Yeah. Charlotte Webb. Charlotte Webb. With the pig and a spider. Yeah, yeah, but that's the kids' movie still. Yeah, you know, like there's not really an adult. There's an no, adult yeah. horse. Uh, it's just gonna be horse because it's racing. That's why. Uh, only other than that, like if there yeah, was well, like there that's sea biscuit. Sea biscuit was, right? right. no, there was one. Biscuit was a race, a horse race. There was one that I did like as adult joint. It's called Hot to Trot with the guy that played in uh, Police Academy. The, uh, the guy that talked all fucked up. Okay. He's the guy that inherits his race horse from like his Bobcat Goldthwait inherits yeah, a, a horse that happens to be able to talk. It's John John Candy oh, the right, horse okay. of the horse, and that's an adultish. Kind yeah, of, okay. Because man, that shit is that's actually a good funny. one. That's probably about as close as you get that's to good. Yeah, because yeah. I'm sitting there thinking like, man, there is one out there, and it is, it's that one hot to try. Bravo, Michael, way to come through. Yeah, I had to think of it because I used to love that motherfucking joint. That shit was funny as shit, especially when he catches the motherfuckers fucking in the stall. <laughs> oh, yo. That shit hilarious as fuck Cause the girl's like That horse is watching us Dude was like Bitch no he ain't man That horse don't even know What the fuck going on man that Yeah He's like oh, 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 oh. He's doing this stuff I'm like yeah I see you bitch Get your shit <laughs> Yeah Hot to Trot is definitely A dope animal movie It sounds like it's immature as fuck too though It is man it, It's like, fucking funny That's that, the whole point Like sometimes. you get ate up And fucking smoke you a good one man And sit there and watch that bitch You gonna laugh Yeah but I'm saying That's the point sometimes right Like yeah. That's what we want. Like motherfuckers, like you I want said, a silly ass movie to laugh at. Nobody makes a good silly John ass movie Candy anymore. Candy as the voice of the horse. Yeah. And then you got fucking what's his name from Police Academy. That's just perfect right there. Well, you know, like I've been thinking about making this movie, like with the most biggest car in the world. Like it'd be a horror movie where a guy has like the biggest car they ever made, like a '77 Lincoln or some shit. Uh, you know, because that's all he can afford. But like his neighbor sells it to him for a dollar or some shit. He's trying to help out or some shit like that. You know, but he goes somewhere and he's trying to get away from this monster. And every time he's about to get a, about to get killed, something about the car being oversized helps him. Uh, you know what I mean? Like something about the car, like, like a normal the car. car. Itself, Cause connected if, from bumper to bumper. If he was in a normal car, straight old you'd be, school metal. You'd be dead right now. Yeah. But this car. You just did something and everything's fine. Like, this motherfucker is good as a tank. It'd it's be like, the savior. It'd be like uh, Colossus, how Colossus was with us. Yeah. My car, man, that motherfucker went through every fucking thing and made it through it all. Colossus? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's what you need. You need a big ass old school whip with the fucking I, thick man, bumper I'll in tell front you what, and the rear. Yeah. A big thick fucking metal what. bumper. Nah, because he fuck up some shit because then he just pushed the motherfuckers out of his I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little mad need? because I seen this old ass. Get uh, yourself like a 78 Malibu with a stick shift two door. I'm trying to tell you, bro. God damn! Tear that up, dog. I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I could ride in a boat. I like me a boat. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can do land yachts. You just can't do the actual water. <laughs> he could do water. He just he needs to be careful. Like y'all seen the video? I sent y'all the video with the killer whale going behind that boat and big water fishing. Well, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah. See. It's not just dolphins that chase. Oh, I know, I know that. I know, but I'm just it's saying. All the things. Shark. Yeah. You just can't see the sharks. Yeah, they play with them. <laughs> who, who sent the thing where they dumped the thing off the side of the big boat full of food, and all the sharks came up? Oh yeah, just fucking tear that shit up. Yeah. Nah, nah. I'm a lot good, of see. sharks out there, man. So why I don't get in the water? I know, nope. Mike. You scared of sharks, dog? I'm scared of everything in that goddamn water. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, man. I mean, yeah, I mean, at least you recognize your fears of the ocean. Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, like, I'm staying out of that. I'm good all day. See, like, I want to surf enough that I would I would be able to, like, put nope. it out of my mind. But I'm not able to, like, get to the point where I can surf, surf yet. surf around here on this. On yeah, this section ain't great. Coast, uh, even, I don't know, man. I, I think you can get some sections of Myrtle or all right. There are certain places, but, like, I'd have to go out west and do it. If I was going to do that's it. what I would think. Or maybe go to like a surfing pool and learn how to do it in a pool and then go out in the ocean. I mean, uh, we, we used they to got body surf pools. some oh, like the one joint where they, where they shoot the water up and you got to yeah. stand there on the yeah, board trying like, to yeah. get up and shit. Yeah. Well, there's that, but I'm talking about they have like 
big wave pools that have oh. actual waves, like three and four and five foot waves happening, and you can learn how to surf. That's how surfers are getting so good. Some like young surfers are getting really good because they can go and catch waves constantly, consistent waves, and get good practice in. And then when they're out in the ocean, you know, you wait for the good wave, but you're able to get in reps yeah. in like the wave pools. Yeah. Gotcha. So like, I would like to go get reps in and learn how to do it somewhere where I'm not worrying about getting ate by a shark. I guess maybe four foot, three foot, probably. Oh, dude. All you need. That'd be great. It'd Two be great. foot, probably you could even ride a Absolutely. little bit. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But a four banger would give you plenty of room. What you want is a long section of where you can ride a wave. And that's where the West Coast is best because you can get that long section of wave. Hey, you can but get four or five footers in North Carolina. I'm not talking about height. I'm not talking about crest. I'm talking about like the space that you're riding it. Oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. The, yeah, you know, length, like but, where but you get on and height where you, you get off. at least two fucking three foot. Well, I mean, shit, dude. I was riding waves in Myrtle Beach on a fucking boogie board. They were like a foot, foot and a half. Well, and yeah, having but a good that's got to be different, I think. What I'm saying is this, you could ride it as a surfboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's, yeah, yeah, but it's, gotta, it's, it's not gotta as be, much fun as having it curling over top of you and shit. You're definitely different, a different See, level. Like body surfing. That, we used to body surf the fuck out of in, 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 down there in the beach and yeah. shit. When I didn't give a fuck about sharks and shit. And like seven, so eight foot waves would fucking tear my ass up. What happened? What happened? That's when his ear busted open. No, before he gave a shit about sharks. Like, he just said, yeah. that was before I gave a shit about sharks. I was a kid. I, I was know. dumb. You know, I didn't give a fuck. So, Fearless. like, you were just unaware of the yeah. world I to a degree? I knew people, you know what I mean? But I ain't know, you know what I mean? I wasn't. I, well, I, now I'm searching for them. So now it's like, so you feel you, the hunter might be the hunted. You your know what karmic, I mean? so now your yeah. karmic nature is you yeah. believe karma would come and bite you in the ass. He wasn't, he, possibly, he, maybe. he wasn't aware like he is now how he says, you know, he's a fucking, they gonna come after me because I'm white in the ocean. You know what I mean? He hadn't had that thought process yet as a youngest. And back, it, I mean, and they, it it because you're white in the ocean. Yeah, it didn't click yet for them. Yeah, because, you know, <laughs> black people are just a shadow. I think that's why there's less attack. The only thing about a shark is getting. Because they just think it's something floating on, life, on the We surface. don't really fuck with the black ocean. Like they don't fuck with, the, fuck with the ocean. When he comes at you, he doesn't seem to be living. But if you do, you got to be around a white person. Black not, never gonna be just a black It's not gonna be a brother never that got you in this situation. Or just down in the water, just hanging out by uh, ourselves, you know what I mean? High pitched screaming. The ocean turns red. And despite all the pounding and the hollering, they all come in. The pounding and the hollering. Rip you to pieces. Rip you to pieces. That's what you gotta worry about. That's what you're worried about. Like, you're worried about a shark coming in, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just getting ripped to shreds. Dragged under the water, eaten by the sharks that you've been trying so hard for so many years to pull from. Well, whatever the ocean. shark eats them is going to be high and drunk like a motherfucker. <laughs> right, right. The shark's going to be like having a hard time it's making gonna it. Be a, it's going to be a movie called fucking Zooted Shark. <laughs> drunk shark. Yeah, drunk shark. Drunk and high shark. Drunk, drunk and high shark. Shark got the best edible he could have. He ate the junior. Yep, unit. yep. Motherfucker gonna be swimming in circles for no fucking reason. <laughs> hey, can y'all put another one of those out here? Yeah. So a shark's gonna be mad. Don't even know. Yeah, that motherfucker gonna be laying animals. back. He's gonna be like, look, guys, we gotta get into this. The motherfucker gonna be up top squeaking like a dolphin. Eh, eh, doing all that He's shit. He's like the first guy that got LSD on his fingers that he synthesized and accidentally licked it and started <laughs> yeah. tripping. Oh my god. Dude, we gotta figure out a way to do this. Huh. I'm going to be at the bottom of the ocean chilling with the sea turtles, like kicking it. Not giving a fuck. Forgetting to swim. And then die because it's going to fucking drown itself. Like a sea turtle forgetting to swim. <laughs> <laughs> shark, how'd the shark die? He forgot to swim yep. after he ate the Jew unit. Yep, just was there. What? Yes. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but. He floated to death. That's what happened. Yeah. He'll pull it up, fucking take samples of that shark hide. And he shit. lost all motivation. Hey, look movement. at the levels that this fucking shark had in him. What the fuck is this? This what, is enough to what fucking did kill this a shark man. consume? There's nothing but like a mullet. There's a, high, There's a greasy yeah. mullet left in his stomach. What a high fucking <laughs> THC level. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Woo. Well, you know, it's a it's been a bit of a slow episode, and today's a special day. I didn't bring anything oh, up. It's your birthday, isn't it? Is, it is. My yeah, birthday. happy motherfucking birthday! I meant to tell you that earlier. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I figure you know we need, we need another ten minutes in the show, so. <laughs> ain't it forty one today? Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. I'm officially an old ass motherfucker. Man, ain't we, man? Fuck. That's why I be wearing hats for my bald and ass. Look, man. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, man. I'm kind of like trying to let it go. I'm let like the tan match your face Here's because, the thing. man, you gonna have that fucking. Uh, 
uh, American History X joint going for yourself if you shave it, you know. You think if I go too far now? You, well, you now, what got, if you I maintain a beard? Sun. You gotta let the sun fucking crisp your head right. Uh, you I'm not, be, that's the thing. That's part of why I'm wearing see, a hat yeah, more. See, you're also ginger. You're just gonna wear a hat forever. You're gonna go bald. I don't know, like, man. Full, or shaved or whatever. Like, I'm thinking about... I've been thinking about a lot of stuff. Shaved you know, beard. As I get an old man. I might have to do shaved beard, but like, I'm definitely thinking about doing some TRT because after all the fucking hernia mesh surgery and shit, I'm feeling like I'm a little bit uh, a little bit depleted. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like it's hard to like get the full bounce back and like exercise. I exercise, I get tired, and I'm yeah. like, man, it's fucked up. But that seems to be like the low T science. I'm probably gonna take one of those tests, see how I'm doing. Yeah. And uh. Before I would spend anything to grow my hair back, I would spend money to, like, you know, feel you want, better. You want to get some hems is what it is. No, nah, no, nah, like, maybe for the hair, but, like, yeah. I mean. What, you need the new genetics? You need the right time? No, 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 no. They, they do, like, legit TRT stuff. Shit. You can get some natural shit, man. They, they do all Tonga sorts of. Ali and they some, do all sorts of stuff. Uh, but Fidera, yeah, some natural Tonga shit. Ali? Tonga Ali? Tonga Ali. Oh, they sell all sorts of stuff, man. Test of venom and all sorts of stupid shit. like a butterfly. Sting like a bee. I'd be trying to look into, like, whatever. I'd be trying to. God looking damn. at something like Rogan would recommend instead of like just some sort of like root that I could eat from the fucking GNC, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right. I mean, you, you figure out like if there's some places. kind of figure out if there's some kind of like natural decent method yeah, for it. But, it like, is. Tonga Ali and this uh, other one called Federa something. Yeah. Federa. I don't know if I trust all that, Mike. I all all that look, non FDA like regular Ali, bullshit. Look, look, shit, look I'm gonna start taking it. Tonga Ali. Yeah, I'm gonna start taking that. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I bet you I know Joe Rogan actually had a thing on his joint about <laughs> <laughs> Type in Tonga Ali and Joe Rogan. Look at that, man. Mike's got all the answers. Yeah, man. Are I you like, on Tonga Ali, Mike? I like natural shit. Yeah, you I like my Tonga Ali. Yeah, yeah. Does I that got do something shit. for you? Yeah. Keeps my that. shit going. I'm gravy, man. Send me the link for what you fucking with. I'll yeah, see. I got you. Ain't no problem. Yeah. Hit me yep. up, uh-huh. man. Because you I know, do all I figure. Natural shit, man. I figure like I'm I not, take my mullen leaf. I'm I'm not necessarily like opposed to doing something about the hair. Yeah. But like I want to figure out how to like keep your energy, be able to keep the energy up and shit. Because I'm just gonna get older. I might as well figure out. Well, what what you going. receding or you got you got the pat you got the pond? Nah, you ain't got the pond, right? It's a little bit thin on the front towards the top, but like that's kind of like in the family and shit. But it's also like you know I had a hernia mesh wrapped around my vast deference for two years. Yeah. And I've been a little bit out of whack. As long whack, as you don't get the pond you know. and try to and, and then keep whatever's around and with the pond, you well, know, you what know what I mean? or like the terrier. The, the nat- they make you mean the natural yarmulke? Yeah, or like the terrier. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The terrier, yeah, the, yeah the like football if I jump Terry, was it? Was if I get the Terry Bradshaw. Bradshaw. Yeah, the Although, Bradshaw. It's, it's the Hunter S. Thompson, and I love Hunter S. Thompson, so yeah. like, maybe I could sport the hair on the sides and the totally chromed dome, but like, I'm not <laughs> I'm not particularly keen on that. I might actually try one of them laser hair therapy things, too, like, because those oh, all say they got the, the, the... light thing yeah, or whatever it is? They all have, like, six-month guarantees. I'm like, I mean, psh, it's worth a shot. I don't know. I think I like, would just go... If, it was, if I was losing my hair anyway, I think I would... I think I would shave it all off. I think. To me, it's like I don't like shaving in general. Yeah. So like. Yeah, that would. Suck. I might that just sucks, start, but I might just start doing like a buzz down once a month. It's just like the end of the month. Like just take it down as short as it goes on a one and just move on with my life. Yeah, you and just rock it that do way. that every month. Let the beard go wild and just have a fucking just do my thing. Yeah. But like, you know, I'm not necessarily opposed to trying something to try to curb the hair loss or whatever. But I'm not necessarily willing to do like. I don't know. I'm not. I'm into more. Like the less I have to take, the better. Yeah, you don't so want like, to go all the way. Well, like light. the laser hair thing makes sense because I'm like, well, I just turn the light on a few times a week, and if it's like actually stimulating growth, like I get that. Yeah. That makes sense to me. But like taking stuff, I'm not really into that. Rubbing shit on my head, eh? Not really into that. Yeah. Maybe maybe I take some tongue Should out I, Ali and I get a I get a like shot in the leg every month or something. I don't know. You know. See, like but with like, fucking my shit. Like when I went bald. I was like, you know, all this was thinning out up here, and I was like, fuck it, go ahead. Yeah, but a brother with a bald head looks better than a white dude with a bald head. That's also true. That's also true. But, like, I got a good head for being bald. My shit doesn't look bad. But, like, I don't want to deal with the maintenance. That's why I don't shave my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what See, I mean? I keep but, my shit. I don't let my shit grow out. This is as thick as this beard's going to get. But what right I need here. to find, because I used to make jokes about it, but, like, I want to find somebody to give me some African-American hair plugs. 
I want the afro. She the I want the afro ass. plugs. This motherfucker went. I'm going to grow a real she fro. The, I used to tell people. Frederick Douglass I'm telling you. Plugs. Yes, right. I want that <laughs> Frederick Douglass hair plugs. Yeah. Dog, Frederick Douglass this got the flyest fro. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Yeah. Frederick Douglass is the reason I wanted a fro. When he, I was a little got boy. The that's parted. He's like, got he the parted white throat. hair fro. <laughs> that's fucking shit is fly as hell, dog. His motherfucker is fly as shit. And like, he'd be on the wall in school and I'd be like, yo, that dude right there is get the fly as fucking mullet right there. That's a commercial that a white dude gets fucking Afro plugs. plugs. I'm trying to tell you. Now, if they could pull that off, that'd be some funny shit right Afro there. plugs, and then I'm sitting here on the show with a big ass fucking Afro with a park down the middle. I to go find that shit right there. I, I support you. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> I support you. I'd be that. like, yo, one brother told me I could do this, so I'm good. <laughs> I support you. But decision. like, the thing is, it's hair, right? So if you're growing hair, who's to tell you that's not your hair, right? That's, that's true, my dude. head, motherfucker. Because then, would it take on your characteristics or keep the African American characteristics Ooh, of the growth? That would be terrible if I put in Afro plugs and I couldn't like cornrow my shit. <laughs> if <laughs> I got, I want, I want African American white hair like Frederick Douglass, and I'm gonna get my bitch cornrowed up. We was talking about this dude at my job. This motherfucker is almost sixty years old, man, and came in that motherfucker one day in a full on Jordan jumpsuit, sweatsuit, young, with his hair cornrowed like Iverson. That's what I'm talking. Talking about I would, like, up. I'd have, I would not have just fuck? straight back looking yeah. like fucking Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> fuck all that shit. I'm coming this out like Allen motherfucking had Iverson. Iverson motherfucking cornrows. I'm like, bro, you took. I said, if, you hang it on to you. I'm telling you, dog, if I got Afro plugs, I would put in the fucking work. I would have African style. Like, <laughs> I would I would take advantage. I wouldn't just have a fro. Uh, I would get that shit. I'm telling you, and then I'd let one out. I'd let one out, and that shit would be all like. Like wild looking at shit. Man and fucking the Mary J. Absolutely. Video. <laughs> Met the man when he's got the thing in his yeah, eye. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to tell you, dog. <laughs> I would have all them crazy ass fucking like hair cluts, hair smiles that I could never get. Uh, I would get it all. Fucking rock the kid and play one time. All the, the time, gummy. dude. I would go from I would go from like like you rock the Coolio. rock errors. I'd go I, I, yeah, exactly. You have to do fucking all right. We're gonna dude, go for the how cool would that be if stuff? I start? Yeah. Oh my god, if I just rocked every era. Yep. Like. Yeah. You have to. Oh God! Cause look, I wonder if I could find. Can come in with a Jerry curl? Woo. Jerry curl with the beard. Looking like Rick James. <laughs> I got white man beard with Rick yeah. James hair. <laughs> Uh, that's too much. People, people like, <laughs> like said that's too much. <laughs> Especially if it's white. You, you, you doing anything drastic like that? You, you at midlife crisis? It's not a midlife crisis. It's, that's that's what what look at. It's a lifelong at, fruition age, of a goal. You at the age now? Where you at midlife crisis? You do some shit like that, bro? They gonna have plans. They gonna, gonna lock me up? Like, yeah, we you're, gotta talk to this man. Officially at the age where it's not considered a midlife crisis. It's no longer a goal. It's just like, considered crazy. Just, you're 40 plus one. You already out there now. You just that, fuck that, dude. All is all I've wanted to get you, Afro you plugs that. since the seventh hey, grade. Fine, dude, you yeah. I brought it up I in the seventh look, grade. Look, look. But saying change. that even makes it worse. It does make it worse. Saying I've been thinking about this since I was younger. <laughs> now you get a chance to do it. That is yeah. technically midlife crisis. Thanks, <laughs> fine. No, 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 no. Uh, it's it's fruition of a plan. Oh man. Because I said when I was young, one day I'm gonna start losing my hair. Yeah, he just. And when I do, I'm gonna get. It's Afro a plugs. dream coming true. That's all that is. You know, it's not been like crisis, but everybody in the world is going to look at it like that. Everybody, you know, he is man, no, they're not. They're going to be like, that, to that white dude's got the Frederick Douglass going on, and, and I fucking love it. People are going to love it. I remember when I was in the third grade. I'd be walking around. That shit be blowing in the wind. <laughs> It'd be blowing in the wind. Got that nice thick part down uh, the middle. Off, like curled part to that. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yeah, not just some straight back fucking bullshit. That fucker had flavor in his part. You watch Chuck. I'm gonna have a black afro one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you will, man. I know you will. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, <laughs> we're gonna have to bring this episode of foolishness to a close. Oh yeah. We'd like to thank you so very much for listening. Uh huh. We'd like to encourage you to listen to old episodes, as well as new episodes. Like, share, subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. If you know where I could get Afro plugs, send me a link. Um, be <laughs> yeah. nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh huh. Little bit by little bit, ladies and gentlemen, keep moving forward. 
<laughs> That's right. And look, yo, y'all wish Mason a happy birthday today, man. And if you can't find them Afro plugs, yeah. hook them up with the Afro plugs. Give me that plugs. link on the, on the Afro plugs. I'm just going to have to call a hair plug place and be like, can I get black people hair put in my oh, head? Yo. Flat Earthers, what's up? Mason, yeah. talk to y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that you too. put that shit out there, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll find somebody. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I just uh, thought of something stupid. Mason coming in here with Afro puffs. <laughs> He rocking rubs and stuff. All, all everything, Afro dog. Puffs. I would rock it all. Every every African American oh, hairstyle from the last thirty years of hip hop. Right. If right. I had right. Afro plugs, I would go through the whole catalog. <laughs> like, oh, that was just something that popped in my head just now. God damn, anyway, my bad, y'all. God anyway, damn. Uh, leave y'all with something to think about. Don't forget, we love you very Shit, much. Right. Keep grinding on the shit you're trying to get done, and peace be with you. Uh-huh, love y'all. Peace. Go.